It's the open week for the Coastal Carolina football team, a chance for the coach and the entire team to rest up a little bit and get ready for conference play. Good Sunday. This is the David Benner Show. I'm Rich Crampanis. And, Coach, even though we have no highlights to show this week, uh, a great chance to not only look at what's happened over the first four games of 2011, but we're going to have a lot of fun this week uh, visiting with some all-time great Shauna Clears. Yeah, and it's always great to have the open date week, Rich, after a win and get the guys healthy and not buying as much. You know, some of the coaches want to hit more during the open week. You can't do that. Uh, we've got to work on fundamentals. you got to have a fine line to where, you know, how much contact you have. But it's a great time. It always comes at a, a great time of the year after game four, game five, halfway th kind of through the year. And, and we need it to get ready for a much improved VMI football team. Well, let's take a look back now on three Coastal Carolina victories, and we'll look at the key moments that got Coastal to a three. In one record. This is the real resilience of this football team as uh, the defense does its job so with Quinton Davis here. You're going to get the ball back and then a marvelous nine play, 71 yard drive. Let's check it you out. Talk about working together. Defense did their part, held them. Uh, a little throw here to Jeremy Height, gets the first down, uh, gets out of bounds right there. You got to be patient. Got to be patient. We got plenty of time here. Great job uh, by Jeremy Height and our offensive line. You know, you'll look right there. Look. 20's tapping himself out for them. He's tired. Uh, Tim uh, Franklin did an awesome job on their All-American linebacker. A little screenplay here to Jeremy Height. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to uh, give a great job to our coaches right here. Jeremy Height now, he's a little tired. He's human. Tap on the helmet means I want he out. means I'm coming out. But go Coach James inserts a fresh Travis Small. Look at him right here running football. He's fresh. Nobody else on that field is fresh. The pride of she South Carolina. you got to say it right, Rich. It's she raw she <laughs> uh, Great job by Travis. I know his parents are very, very proud of him and everybody in she He's going to run that thing again, and Aramis gets it in there. We only have one of Travis's runs right there. Aramis gets it in for the score. you got to get the extra point. You can't relax. The excitement and the energy is back on our sideline. It was like a heavyweight bout. It wasn't a featherweight. It was a heavyweight bout. Good job, Aramis. Get the ball in the outside arm. And uh, the heavyweights just, you had to find out who had the most energy in the end. And here's Aramis Hillary, and what a ball yeah. to Matt Hazel. Good job by Aramis. He got him to jump offside, so you got a free play. You know, they called him offside, but we're going to take a free shot at that thing. Great air on the ball to Matt Hazel out of North Augusta, South Carolina. We got to keep getting him more and more involved in our offense. And it deserves another look with our walk all land and timber shots rewind. Thank you to the Hensons of walk all land and timber. Great air by Aramis. Great catch on the outside shoulder. Way to get that thing in the end zone, Matt Hazel. Then they change their mind. They go for it on fourth down. Great job by Derek Frazier on fourth down of uh, negating the pass attempt by the Catawba Indians. Time now for the Coastal Ice cool play of the game, and it was a real – Unit effort by the defense on this interception. Yeah, it's a great play. Trey Henderson here on the contact. Ball comes out, goes to Derek Frazier, and Frazier hangs on right there. They got him jerking our guy down. Come on right there, officials. Y'all need to be right there on top of that. See the bang, bang play here. It is Trey Henderson right here that causes the fumble. That thing pops out, and Derek Frazier takes care of the rest. Great job right there getting a the turnover. Good hit by Trey, and good job by Derek Frazier being what the old guys used to say, Johnny on the spot. And then... We run a little play. We can't tell you the name of it, but it's a it's a play where we read the option to give or pull based on the five technique. Aramis can run the ball or he can throw the ball. Over here to our X receiver. Uh, good job blocking by Jamal Boswell. He throws it to Matt Hazel. Matt accelerates great right here. Cuts inside of him. Takes that thing all the way to the house. 33 yards for Matt Hazel. Second touchdown of the game for the sophomore. And... Coach will take another look at this one, and the play fake really works here. Well, he's reading that thing. You see they took him, so he reads it. He pulls it. He can run it or throw it. He throws it to Matt. Take care of that ball, Matt. Keep it on your ribs. 
Keep it on your ribs. Great job here by Matt getting us to 31 points. We're going to need a lot more of those highlights as we go into conference play. Uh, I think on offense, I think Matt Hazel is really coming into his own. Our offensive line is gelling better together. Aramis Hillary's coming on at quarterback. David Duran uh, is playing well at tight end. And Jamie Childers is doing a great job there at tight end as well. Uh, defensively, it's great to see Derek Frazier coming on in his senior year, getting that extra year. Uh, Quinn Backus is a guy adding depth for us there as well. Chad McField, a great leader on that defensive line. And I think Josh Norman is becoming more and more selfless and, and getting comfortable and playing the way he can play. So uh, we're real excited about the rest of the year and heading into conference play. Hope you all will be there Saturday, October the 8th, which will be Military Appreciation Day and Breast Cancer Awareness Day. Time for us to take a break. When we come back, Coach Bennett sits down with three of the all-time great Shauna Clears to look back on their best college memories when the David Bennett Show continues right after this. Waste Management presents Where Are They Now? A look back at former Coastal Carolina Shauna Clears. Mike Tolbert was an All-American running back for the Shants from 2004 through 2007. And every Coastal fan is well aware of what Mike Tolbert is up to now. In his fourth season in the National Football League, Tolbert has three touchdowns and 20 receptions in this early 2011 season for the San Diego Chargers. Where Are They Now? is brought to you by Waste Management, a proud sponsor of The David Bennett Show. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by Waste Management, Coastal Orthopedic and Strand Orthopedic, Coca-Cola, Crescent Bank, and Shred Alert. Shred Alert owner Adam Parnes says, don't compromise the integrity of your personal and financial documents, shred them. Shredding is important in order to prevent identity theft, one of the fastest growing crimes in the U.S. Don't be a victim. Shred Alert has served professional, residential, and government offices from Georgetown to Wilmington since 2002, and has been recognized for being the document destruction company of the Grand Strand and surrounding areas. So whether it's paper, uniforms, or any sensitive materials, Shred Alert of Myrtle Beach is the only choice to get the job done. Contact us today. All right, guys, it's crunch time. The game's on the line. You've played great so far, but you got to finish the job. you got to finish the job. You're the team everybody wants to be. Come on, guys. Let's go show them why we're the champs. Right now, get the longest-lasting, most versatile, and most fuel-efficient lineup in America at Palmetto Chevrolet. No one has more Consumer Digest Best Buys for the 2010 model year than Chevrolet. Coastal Carolina Chanticleers and Palmetto Chevrolet. A winning combination. And nobody beats a Palmetto deal. In life, there is a common thread that binds us. It's not always something we can see, or hear, or touch. The connection that brings us together as people. People who feel that technology adds up to more than just wires and plastic. But the thread that binds us together in the most important facet of our lives, connecting with it, HTC. This is life. Connect with it. Welcome back to the David Bennett Show. It's time to check in with Coach Bennett's staff on how they're spending the open week. This week's coordinator comments are being brought to you by Coca-Cola. The kids don't have to play this weekend, but we definitely have to work. And um, it's nice for us because we don't feel as rushed during the week. Kind of, We can take an extra day or two to work on our game plan and make sure we get everything kind of solidified what we want to do. So when we start back on Monday, we're hitting the ground running. We've been very happy to use this open week just to work on all the fundamentals. Um, we've had things that we can work on from every game this, uh, this year, and we're going to definitely use this week to finish up what we started as far as taking care of the fundamentals and getting better at what we do um, personally as, uh, as a defense. Back here with one of our best players in Coastal Carolina football history, Maury Simpkins out of Batesburg, Leesville, South Carolina. Yes, sir. First scholarship player to come to Coastal. I remember you may, uh, majored in what, computer science? Computer science and business management. Yeah, and the guy that, uh, one of the guys, I couldn't understand what he was saying, but he told me on the bridge one day behind the Wall College of Business, he said, Coach, you're going to bring football players like this here to Coastal? Bring as many of them as you want. Maurice is uh, – been very successful working with computers, uh, playing arena ball. I told him, man, when are you going to get a real job and quit giving up the dream? Well, you know what he did? This past year he made the Green Bay Packers, and then they let him go and he made the, the Rams, the St. Louis Rams. So he was at one time this season part of the Super Bowl champion Green Bay Packers, and yes, uh, Maurice, we're very, very proud of you. 
I'm proud to say I'm from CCU, Coach. <laughs> we got a few plays right here we want to show you. Okay, let me see this. Top five Maurice Simpkins moments. Oh, Are man. you ready? I think I'm ready. I might still get on you a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay. Here we go. Number five. Number five. See if you recognize some of these. Against JMU. JMU. Oh, right there, batted ball. Big upset. What yeah. a great play, though. One of, the, one of the biggest games. I wish you could have dove and caught that thing. I thought I had it in the air. You know, my hands weren't that good. How much you weigh back then? About 220. 220 about 220. What are you now, 245? 245. Mm, I wish you, we had you now. <laughs> <laughs> good gracious. Number four, top simp moments. Who's this? Interception. You know, At Moorhead hands, State, coach. the revenge game. Outside yes, arm. Outside arm, Maurice. Way to hang on to the ball. That was a great pick. That shoulder was still bad to keep in the, the secure hand. That's a great <laughs> pick. Number three here. I remember Whew. this one. DMI. Calls the sack, calls the fumble. Our defense played good that day. Remember yes, the media did. got you, didn't Yes, they got me. What I tell you? Got <laughs> your run, young they, rear end. They got me. Well, I was you still told young you said, back Yeah, then. you said defense played good enough to win. Great sack here. I believe this was against Gardner Webb. Yep. Game we won in overtime. Yes, sir. Number two coming up. The number two simp moment. Interception. This was triple overtime. You yes. pick it here. Hang on. I wasn't down right there either. Did you see that? My well, knee never touched the ground. Yeah, but you know, we're, we're on their field. We ain't going to get that call. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to get that. We're going to get those calls anyway. Nice TFL right here. A little Ooh, flare still, pass by Liberty. I remember back. won this in three overtimes. Mm -hmm. That's a great job. Now, the number one Maurice Simpkin moment. Oh, we're man. on the road against a SOCON opponent. Yes, sir. Here you come backside, sack their quarterback, strip the ball. Uh, Jamar Leith picks it up. Gonna... Run, Jamar. <laughs> what a great play. That was great. That what was great. great. I remember that. Oh. Well, I tell you what, the job you did on the field, you know, in the classroom, I hope and pray one day you're in the Buddy Sasser Hall of Fame here. I think you definitely deserve it. Thank you very much. How's Miss Tolan? How's your mama? She's doing real good, doing real good. Told me to make sure I came out here and saw you on the way Give down. Give her a hug and kiss for me. I will do that. Appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. I got to get me one of those. Whoo, that thing's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are with Quentin Teal. A lot of people don't know this, but Quentin was the first coastal football player to sign an NFL contract and uh, very, very proud of him. Uh, he hadn't seen this yet, but we've put together a top five Teal moments at Coastal Carolina. You ready to watch it? Yes, sir. All right. First one right here. Pick against Savannah State. I got a question for you. How come you didn't take this thing back to the house? I was a little winded right there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'd like to see you cut that thing back across the field right there. Yes, sir. That was, that was a great pick, though. Your buddy Braden Cannon gets the block and comes right to you right there. You get the touchdown. Oh, all week right there, uh, Braden said he was going to block a kick, and I said, if you block it, I'm going to score. And he blocked it, and I scored, and, and I was did. like, thanks, Braden. Look how pretty that field looks right there, <laughs> boy. Ed Bailey and the boys did a great job on that field. All right, those were moments right there. Moment number five, they had those rolled together against Savannah State. Here we are against Winston-Salem, up at Winston-Salem. Big sack here. You didn't know, that's probably, that's my first career sack right there, too. You didn't know that. <laughs> Rich Crampanis knows it, though. That's why it's on there. And what a that gum hit here. Look at old, right up on the sideline. That's Greg, that's Trent Usher. Look at DeWitt. Chris Allen. The other one here, I love this one. This, th you know what you show the skill right here? You would have been a heck of a wide out in college too. He said no gloves too. Tell, <laughs> tell Jerome get some of that. <laughs> no gloves, catch that thing across your body. Coach Covington was there right there. Till moment number three. What a big one here. This is against South Carolina State, 05 I believe. Pick right here to seal the game, isn't it? Yep. Simp on you. Great pick. That was a great win. The next year they come back here and you block a punt. Oh, yeah. Me and Braden had a uh, trying to go to see if we get the most blocks in the season, and I finally beat him. You didn't get hurt, did you? No, I got kicked. It'll be all right. <laughs> that was a big crowd that day. Mm. Nice hit right there. What'd you say to him right there? Clinton? I was talking to him. He was talking to me all game to my I wasn't going to do nothing. And I said, I, I'm, if I get a chance, I'm going to get you. And I got him right there. And I just let him know. I always love your class act, though. Wow, classic. Liberty, Liberty 05, guess what this is? Triple overtime. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, that was a long you game. You picked the ball, 
to seal the game. We win that in triple overtime, and your pick sealed the game for us. Everybody's coming to see you. They're a little tired. They're not running too fast. <laughs> Who's that right there? That's Sean Gaines. That's C Mac. And Peanut. Yeah, and Peanut. Brandon Graves. Look at Peanut. Peanut had short hair right there. He's trying to get to you. <laughs> and the number one teal moment. What do you think it is? Uh, yeah. Furman, the block field goal. You blocked extra point. the extra point. And I believe Sean Lundy takes it back, which changes the game. Gives us a chance to upset the number two team in the nation. I think you can outrun Lundy. You oh, might, yeah. You might beat him in the end zone. Yeah, I had to slow down, you know. Nice play there. Going across the middle in that same Furman game. You know, Maurice, we were talking yesterday about wearing that all black uniform. These guys, we can't just do it. They got to earn that. Right. They got to earn it. But Quentin, appreciate the job you did. Yes, sir. You got a special mama. Yeah. Tell Miss Mamie, I said, hey, I know I see you driving a, a Chevelle, 70 Chevelle. You still yes. got the Impala? Yes, sir. I said, I'm Impala. You love old cars, don't you? <laughs> yes, sir. That's what I love about you. You an old soul. Yes, sir. Appreciate the job you do, buddy. Thanks. Uh, here we are at the Adkins Field House in the Buddy Sasser Hall of Fame with uh, one of our greats that will one day be in this Hall of Fame, uh, Tyler Thigpen, who did a great job for us at quarterback. And Tyler, we kept talking about this field house getting built. We appreciate you helping us get it built. Yeah. Did you think it was going to be built during your time? I did. I think you promised it to us back in, uh, I think, February of 2000, January of 2002. Well, you know, the old saying is this, good things come to those who wait. And Very good true. Lord taught us patience on this field house. We're, we're going to watch some of the greatest Tyler Thigpen moments. Top fig moments, Tyler. Top five plays in your career. But uh, I tell you what, the first one's at Walford. That was a great win there. He's about to catch you here, isn't he? Yeah, he was. I think about ran out of gas. I think that was right around the fourth quarter. What happened right here? Like, did you about cramp up? Yeah, I think I caught a cramp right there. But uh, I tell you what, what a game that was. We still talk about that when the guys come around. What a shootout it was. It was. That was a great win as well. And then here, trying to run out the clock at Gardner Webb. Uh, you do a great job keeping the ball. Uh, got the ball in the outside arm. They catch you right here. I think you'll see on the sideline we're giving you a hard time about them hawking you down you right here. That whole time I was running, y'all were I think y'all were running <laughs> alongside me on the sideline saying stay in bounds. Hey, but, watch uh, you right here. You go, oh, you, man. You could tell I was pretty tired there. <laughs> did a great job, though. We had about 600 yards offense, I believe, that day. I think it was. You can see all the players just giving me a hard time there. But uh, Here we go. Number four, top fig moment. South Carolina State, I believe this was 05. Great job right. of you throwing against what Coach Brown teaches you not to do, throw against your body, but you had exactly. to there, didn't you? Had to, uh, fourth down, had to give a chance. Uh, and and uh, what, what better to throw it up and give Jerome a those chance big to make old a mitts play. of Jerome, who had, what, 11-inch hands, caught that ball. And uh, here it is in slow motion, throwing that thing against the grain. Against your body, great job throwing to Jerome. And there's Chris Noble with him. And we talked about this all the time. We didn't know how really good Noble was till he was gone. Exactly. He did a great job. He was able to uh, open it up for Jerome on the other side. Yeah. Here we go. We're against Charleston Southern 06. Down at halftime, Rich pointed out we're down 17-10 at half. Great touchdown pass here. You stop, uh, square your shoulders back up. Don't throw across your body. Was, I think it was 704 throwback or something like that. So. Okay, and here's the fade. I think yeah. it might have been Coach Brown up top noticed that they moved their safety over the corner. They did, a little white safety over there. Moved him over, and uh, when we did the, uh, I think it's called NASCAR, or not NASCAR, Mayday, whatever, when we stopped. And well, you did a good job. One it. step, laying it up, outside shoulder. Number two is the game against James Madison, the upset win in 05. And everybody remembers Jerome's great catches. Uh, you remember also that first pass you threw off the corner's chest. Yeah, exactly. That he dropped. Yeah, he dropped. But yeah. Perry Parks right here. I'm glad you didn't take your helmet off, Perry. Would have been a personal foul. You can great. see how excited I was there. What a, a great, you know, what nobody a great win that was. Nobody expected you to throw the ball to Perry. Right? Yeah, exactly, because that was designed to go to Jerome. And for some reason, you watch right head. here the students tearing down the goalposts. <laughs> we need them to gum tear them down for a big win in the playoffs. I'll tell you what. I see Moose and Mark Roach out there. They trying to get out the way of that thing, trying to stop <laughs> them. <laughs> That was a great win. I know it was a great moment, great memory for you, Tyler. Yes, it was. Number one, you know what it is. We Rich looked it up. Kevin thought it was longer than that, but there's 54 seconds on the clock. It took 36 seconds to score. 
was. Six play drive, Six play drive. first play here to Perk. 67 yards, I think. Mm-hmm. And I tell you what, you know, a lot of a lot of people talk about the Charleston Southern game saving our conference, but this really had to win this to we, have a chance to win. Exactly, and this was I think our first conference game. Great throw there to Perry. You spike the ball, stop the clock. This is a huge play, I think. You take off. If you get tackled uh, in bounds, we're going to have to spike the ball again. Your speed, people don't realize how quick you were. Got out of bounds, out to Jerome, and then here comes the slant. It took 36 seconds to score. Tell you what, what a great drive. I mean, and that just. It was, it was one of those things when it got done and you were like, did this really just happen? But, uh, right, you know. Jerome right here, uh, they do the old, instead of the chest bump, they do the rear end bump. Uh, <laughs> he and Noble and uh, – Perry, I think, designed They that. think they patented yeah. that thing, but nobody's going to know who started it first. But, Tyler, son, you did a great job. Tell you Mighty what. proud of you. I am. Appreciate everything you've done for me and continuing to do. I'll be honest with you. It gave me a lot of chills just uh, reminiscing those old times and talking about them. Uh, what, what a great uh, – Four or five years I had here at Coastal, and I, you know, I made a lot of memories. And uh, it's always nice to, when you see other guys, to talk about those memories that we were able to just watch there on TV. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by Palmetto Chevrolet, A and I Fire and Water Restoration, Creek Rats, Conway Medical Center, and HTC title sponsor of the David Bennett Show for the past eight years. Hello, I'm Tommy Britton, along with my children, Case. Preston and Mary Madison. I practice law here in Myrtle Beach. We're now known as the Britain Law Firm. We're all graduates of Walford College, but we're great supporters of David Bennett, Coastal Carolina football, and the great university Coastal Carolina has become. It's been a pleasure over the years to sponsor this program. The Britain Law Firm, all claims, trials in all courts. Come get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude on the Marsh Walk in Merleson and overlooking Celebration Lake on South Cashua in Florence. With my HTC wireless phone, I'm always connected to the world around me. Whether it's simple everyday things like a call from a friend, a text from my daughter, or even an update to my Facebook status while I'm out and about, HTC connects me with the things that mean the most. HTC is your wireless headquarters for back to school. Get three months of HTC residential high-speed internet free with new HTC wireless service. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Welcome back to the David Bennett Show. It's time now for Sean's Quarter, brought to you by HTC. This is life. Connect with it. Welcome to Sean's Corner here in the Brown Locker Room at the Adkins Fieldhouse. And with me is senior offensive lineman Brian Brooks. Brian, we've got a few questions for you. Are you ready? I'm ready, Coach. You sure? Sure. Let's go. Okay. First question is this. Growing up, who was the biggest influence in your life? That would also be my parents, uh, mother and father. They taught me a lot growing up. Uh, We went through a lot of difficulties together, but I think it it bettered me for, for my future. Okay. Since you've been at Coastal Carolina thus far, what's your biggest or best coastal memory? It's definitely beating Liberty this past year. I've been here four years and got my first victory against them, and it was on our field. Felt felt sweet. Okay. In life, if you could have a mulligan or redo, what's something you'd like to change in your life? It would definitely be uh, be uh, not going to four high schools and starting to play football a little earlier than I did, but I'm grateful that I did start when I did and got this opportunity. So. And when you hear the phrase game day, what do you think of? Thank God the week's over. <laughs> and playing in the game. No, definitely fun. playing the game. Games are fun. So. And the last question for you, Brian. Uh, pick a coach, any coach on our staff, and let's see how well you imitate that coach. All right. Boys, we need nose breathers, not mouth breathers. <sighs> Who is that, Brian? Take a guess, coach. There he is. Keep working. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by Bojangles, the Britain Law Firm, and Coastal Ice. A and I, over, t- over the years, we've had working relationships. They've handled fires, water losses, wind losses. They've been there for us so that we could be there for our clients. Their professionalism, their follow-up, it, it has been absolutely flawless. If everybody did the work as they promised to do, like A&I does, We'd be in real good shape in this town. When disaster strikes, we're the ones to call. A and 
Coastal Carolina University Sean DeClears need to concentrate on playing their best, not worrying about what to do if an injury occurs. As Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, we offer all our patients comprehensive orthopedic care from our team of renowned specialists. So no matter what your game, you can stay on top of it. Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, proud to be the team physicians of the Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers and sponsors of the Dave Bennett Coaches Show. In life, there is a common thread that binds us. It's not always something we can see, or hear, or touch, but rather something we can feel, the thread that binds us together in the human experience, to know the exhilaration of achievement, the sorrow of a lost love, to truly connect with those things which make up our lives as families, as friends, as romantics, as people. People who feel that technology adds up to more than just wires and plastic. But the thread that binds us together in the most important facet of our lives, connecting with it. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. It's time for a Bojangles blast from the past. We go to Boiling Springs, North Carolina, back on October 30th, 2004. Tyler Thigpen breaks his collarbone and he's out for the season. Enter Ren McKinnon, who gallops on the Gardner-Webb defense and helps preserve a 31-19 win and finishes out the 2004 season with an eight-game win streak to reach 10 victories. Blast from the Past is brought to you by your Grand Strand Bojangles, proud sponsors of The David Bennett Show. It's time now for the HTC Scouting Report coach, VMI. Uh, key Dets always play hard-nosed football. Discipline is never going to be an issue there. They've changed their style, though, Coach. Talk a little yeah. bit about what VMI is doing now as far as offense goes. Well, they run a spread. They also get an eye formation and run hard-nosed football. The ISO, the power, the sprint draw right at you. And I'm going to tell you something. I remember Mike Tolbert out here, Benton Field, Brook Stadium, had 240 yards, and it still was a barn burner. VMI will be very disciplined. They'll be very well coached. They'll be hard-nosed. And we want you to come out and support our Shoniclers because it's also Military Appreciation Night. It's also Breast Cancer Awareness Night. And I think our Shoniclers are going to be wearing a helmet with a camouflage Shoniclear on it, camouflage stripes on the front, and a pink ribbon to symbolize breast cancer awareness. And so hopefully everybody can be at the game and see this nice look here. For The Coach, I'm Rich Grampanis. Thanks so much for watching this open week edition of The David Bennett Show. We'll see you next week for the Shauna Clears and VMI. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by People's Underwriters with two locations in Conway and Carolina Forest. Visit peoplesunderwriters.com. We're proud to have Coastal Ice as part of our team this year, providing ice to the PD and all over the Grand Strand. We're proud to bring you the Coastal Ice cool play of the game. And when you think of ice, think of Coastal Ice and call 488-4ICE. Everyone at Coastal Ice wants to wish the Shauna Clears the best of luck. Coastal Ice says, Go Sharks! Locals love Greek rats for dinner. They rave about the seafood dinner special. Baskets, po'boys, wraps, and burglars. When you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Greek rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet and on Celebration Lake in Florence. My HTC Digital Cable Service delivers all my favorite shows, movies, and sports entertainment. We always crack up watching comedies on video on demand and raise the roof cheering for our favorite sports teams in high def. HTC offers all the channels and features I love and connects me with the ones who mean the most. NFL Network and NFL Red Zone provide the most extensive weekly coverage and put you in the action with every touchdown. Now available on HTC Digital Cable. HTC. This is life. Connect with it.